Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as we are playing with England. So we left off in the middle of this coalition war uh, where a good chunk of Europe has declared war on us uh, because we got a little bit too greedy as I always seem to do. Uh, so we left off on the intentional cliffhanger here uh, where we're about to have a big battle. This will probably be the deciding battle uh, of the war because Everybody's getting involved in this, so hopefully no other armies come from over here or wherever else we can't see, uh, because if they did, uh, we're going to get our asses handed to us. And I did forget to lock my screen while scrolling over to the other screen. All right, so here we go. Uh, and Poland has a civil war. Let's see what's going on over here. Poland is uh, separated. They're not doing so well. Huh. All right, we'll have to take a look at the world situation. Uh, but right now, battle time, guys. All right, so it looks like there is a terrain modifier, uh, and it seems that we did win the battle. Excellent. All right, that I went very quick, but we did win. Uh, so that is quite decisive, guys. Um, let's see if, well, they turned around. They decided not to get involved. Okay, so that's why the reason why we handed it to them. Okay, awesome. So let's see how we're doing now. We have uh, 24,000 men. What I'm gonna do is, let's siege down these provinces here, although it seems and I can't go there because of the, the fort. All right, we'll come over here and try and take our fort back. Uh, we'll try and get the fort back, and then we'll try and take all of our provinces back. We'll have to deal with them, though. Uh, I don't know that we'll be able to go there, though, right? Yeah, you can't go there because of the uh, the fort is blocking us. All right, so we'll have to take the fort back. Once we get this back, their war score will no longer uh, be so high. I don't know where Castile and Portugal are going. Maybe to go invade... Italy, perhaps? Not entirely sure. Uh, Pope is retreating right now. Oops, I didn't realize I had it paused. Uh, we currently have Calais under siege right now by uh, a bunch of troops, uh, Dutch and Swiss uh, troops. Uh, we also have this army over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get them invading into Ireland. Uh, we want to, I think these are our enemies, these two countries. I might be mistaken, yeah, both of them. All right, so let's go ahead and invade into there. Uh, we'll take our province back. Knock that out war score wise. And then we're going to evade into their provinces and attempt to get those taken down. So our corruption is growing. We're going to have to deal with this. Go ahead and take care of that. We can also invest in military technology. Excellent. That's going to give us some artillery, guys. That's going to be huge. All right. So we're going to want to to build some artillery. Uh, if we can. I don't know if our force limit is reached. We actually have a little bit of room for artillery uh, for each army. We'll just get one for each army, I suppose. Uh, and do we want to do manpower or... God, these are just so so expensive when you get the mercenaries. Uh, they're just ridiculously expensive. Um, you know what? God, we just don't have any manpower to be to build in these. Uh, but I want the artillery because it will make us be able to siege so much quicker. Uh, but we're losing so much per turn. You know what? Let's, let's do it. I'm going to build these. It's fine. Uh, and we'll build one here as well. I know it's I know it's our manpower, guys, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so we do have a 10,000-man army there. Uh, just kind of patrolling around. There are so many armies around here, guys. They're just everywhere. There's just armies all over the place. Uh, they're about to get Calais. That's unfortunate. I could attack them there uh, if I attacked by sea. I just don't think it's worth it. Where are our allies? What are they currently doing? Are they back home? They are not back home. All right. Uh, so we did occupy our Irish province, the Pell. Let's go ahead and attack into their fortification here uh, and try and get these guys knocked out of the conflict. Uh, we could also just take that. They're, they only have one fortification, so they would actually be the easier country to, to deal with. I think that might be what we're going to do. Yeah, I think that would be the wisest way to, to deal with this. We'll go ahead and get their fortification, although it looks like we are going to have to get involved in some battle first. All right, well, we're going to deal with them. And, uh... I really just, we just need to get some of these, these countries knocked out of the conflict. Looks like we're going to be winning that. They are coming to reinforce them. Uh, and our spy in France has been discovered. Uh, so Calais has been taken by the enemy. Uh, we did win this battle over here. Uh, however, we're about to get attacked again. But this time we're going to get the terrain bonuses. So we should do even better. Uh, Austria has now declared war on Bohemia. Okay, a restoration of the Union. We won that battle. Uh, it was a rough one, though. Uh, but we won. That's what's important. 
Uh, we're going to be getting our artillery too, which is going to make these sieges go a hell of a lot quicker. There we go. Let's go and get these guys moving over there now. Although, it looks like they would have to engage somebody in battle. That was not good. All right, well, let's go and move out. Uh, in, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to move out of here. That artillery would not be able to win anything on their own. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. All right. We're going to have to we're gonna have to come over here, guys. Damn it. I wanted to siege it down, but it would just go so much quicker with the fort. And besides, they're going to be sieging us down this whole time. Uh, what happened here? Oh, they destroyed my fucking artillery. Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Oh, they killed my artillery, guys. And that was my 1,000 manpower that I had. That sucks. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way for us to have, have dealt with that. Uh, we've gotten this siege done. That is excellent news. That doesn't allow us to kind of patrol around. I still need uh, some artillery, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to get mercenary artillery. This kind of sucks, but there's really no other way around it, and I want artillery. Uh, so let's build them here. Or, no, no, no. Let's build them somewhere far away where hopefully they won't get engaged. I don't know. Feels like I'm just wasting my money because they're going to end up uh, attacking them here. Uh, let's see if there's not anything I can do about our money situation. And we're probably going to have to take another loan. We already debased our currency. Let's just take the loan now because you know they're going to make us do it. I prefer to have it so I can makes it look like I have more money than I do. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get engaged with the enemies here. Um, let's just fight these guys here. Looks like this would be the easiest battle. Uh, though, looks like everybody's going to get involved. God damn it. <laughs> Every single time. Uh, we attack anybody. We have to fight the entire army. So you really can't do it without... Oh, wait a minute. Nice. They locked them down. Excellent. So it looks like we have two big battles going. Uh, we're battling them here. Uh, the Papal States has come into the rescue, though. Uh, they're battling them there. I don't think we'll win. Okay, we did win in Paris just in time. Uh, that's going to allow us to get the river bonus uh, for them attacking, I believe. Uh, no, you don't get a river bonus. Okay. All right, well, whatever. It's unfortunate. So we're going to have to fight these uh, 29,000 troops uh, without any bonuses. Let's just take a look at the leaders here as I attempt to avoid this conflict. <laughs> so let's just take a look and see how this is going to go. I think we're going to lose because we just got out of a battle. So yeah, I don't expect that we'll win this one, unfortunately. Luckily, Spain seems to be winning over here with Portugal. If only we could have gotten some assistance in time. Uh, that is quite unfortunate. Uh, I wonder if there's anybody we can get knocked out of this conflict. I'd also like to see what the... Uh, the troop numbers look like. So we currently have 50,000, uh, while the other side only has 42,000. Remember, they used to outnumber us. They have more cavalry still and more artillery. Okay, uh, so is there anybody we could maybe peace out uh, and get out of this conflict? Like Holland, I don't know. Let's just take a look and see if anybody's willing to, uh, to make peace. Oh, that's right. Number of coalitions can never sign a separate peace. That's right. We have to defeat the entire coalition. Uh, so that's just one of the unfortunate things. Uh, and if we were wanting to offer tribute, which doesn't look like they really want much, uh, they just want us to give stuff back to France uh, or release nations, essentially stuff that would make us weaker, uh, can concede defeat as well. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing they're willing to accept yet. The war's not over. I was just curious. Just curious. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attack um, here. And we're going to try and time this. Wonder, let me just take a look and see where the... Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no way to avoid the river penalties. You know what? Let's go ahead and repair ourselves then a bit. Though, it does seem... Let me just take a look here. God damn it. It seems like their morale is fairly low still. So we might be able to win. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and time these so that the units arrive at the, around the same time. Yeah, that would work nicely. The artillery will arrive right after the rest of the army. All right, so we should be able to win this battle easy enough. Because, uh, yeah, they uh, they don't have any artillery. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and merge our... Well, we have to wait a second. Let's go ahead and merge these armies now. And then we're going to... I don't know where they're going, but we're going to go ahead and siege down their province now. And hopefully we can get that, get that taken care of. Uh, where's our fleet at? I don't think there's much we can do here uh, fleet-wise. What we can do is yeah we were trying to engage that dutch fleet and we missed them uh we're gonna go ahead and help ourselves here with the siege uh try and get that done a little bit quicker uh where is our army at oh, they're still retreating looks like they're gonna retreat all the way back to aquitaine all right and then we're just gonna have to wait a little bit um yeah there's just too many troops here Thirty thousand. that is a massive number of troops and i was really hoping to get <laughs> 
damn it, man. We're gonna have to move these guys over here so that we can combine with them. I need my artillery, guys, so I don't know what's gonna happen there. It looks like there's gonna be a battle here, uh, perhaps. Uh, and we'll see if the Castilians help. If they do, it doesn't look like they're going to. I don't know, let's see. If they help, then we're gonna help too. It looks like they did not. All right. We need to get these big old battles where we can assist our allies. That's the only way we're gonna win this, guys. Uh, so they're gonna attack them there. If they engage in the battle, once again, we will support. Okay, it does look like they've engaged. This is gonna be another big battle. Uh, when do we get our numbers here? Oh Lord, I kinda wanna wait. And it looks like they're gonna win anyways. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna assist them, make it a battle for the ages again, because that's the only way to fight <laughs> in this war right now. Uh, oh shit, we ended up attacking them there. Well, I guess it's a good thing we defeated them again. Uh, pushed them back. Our troop numbers are really, really hurting at the moment though, and we are broke. Uh, we're gonna need to get more mercenaries over here, I think. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a problem if we don't. Uh, let's go ahead and, do we want to research this? right now. Uh, trade efficiency. Yeah, we're going to do that. It'll help take our corruption down a little bit faster as well. Uh, so let's do it. And what we're going to want to do that should save us a little bit of money. Uh, we shouldn't be taking as much corruption. Uh, don't need as much going towards the corruption. All right. Excellent. Uh, still broke as hell. Uh, but what we're going to go ahead and do is let's get a few more mercenary units. What we'll have to do is, is merge these uh, clearly. That's the only way to do this, consolidate these regiments. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a few mercenaries, uh, probably a lot of mercenaries actually. Uh, we're taking a look here, we got two cavalry, so we're gonna get infantry. Uh, we're gonna do, oh Lord, eight I suppose, yeah. We wanna, we wanna staff it up as high as we can get it. Or we can do, we'll do it like this. That'll be six, seven. We'll just do seven for right now, and then I'll come over there and support them. Um, and this big battle is happening, guys. Uh, it looks like we are getting some penalties here, and we did lose that battle. Damn. All right. Yep, we lost it. Okay, so we're just having a lot of difficulty right now trying to get some wins because their numbers, I guess, are more uh, more together, I suppose. Oh, they have a lot more troops now. Did somebody else join the conflict? Did they build up an army again? What the fuck happened? Huh. Oh, these are the casualties. My bad. I'm looking at the wrong damn thing. Uh, I didn't realize they showed casualty numbers. That is really cool. Yeah, I did not know that you could see the casualty numbers on this. Uh, that must be something that was recently added. Uh, I mean, and recently for me is like a year and a half ago. Uh, I haven't played that much over the last year and a half. Like I said, just a few campaigns. But overall, it looks like we are actually winning the casualty battle. Uh, but obviously that doesn't help <laughs> when you're in this kind of situation. Uh, that we're so outnumbered. Uh, let's go ahead and get all these troops moving over here. Let me get that done a little bit quicker. Uh, and having a big chunk of our army fighting in Ireland right now is not helpful. Uh, but we need to get those some of these countries defeated, and they're the easiest one to get defeated. Uh, looks like our war auction is a bit high, so we're going to want to take care of that soon. Uh, and Switzerland has taken over one of our provinces. Uh, let's go and attack over here. We'll wait to get... Um, or, you know what, we can go ahead and just take out all these. Um, yeah, I think that would make sense. Uh, Battle of the North Channel, we sunk their ships. All right, let's go and get everybody moving over here. Come on, guys. Uh, come help me out. And we got loud-ass vehicles going by right now. Oh, okay, here we go. This looks like these guys are not going to go the way I want them to go. No siree. <laughs> all right. We're going to have to move all these guys on over here, then. That's the only way that we're going to be able to do this. Yeah, I think they're going to attempt to attack us there. Uh, I believe they're actually going to get them. Uh, they're going to get... Yeah, they're going to get them. Damn it. All right, we're going to have to go assist them. Uh, yeah, there's no other way to deal with this. Okay. Uh, nope, they decided not to. Yep, they said, nah, we don't want any of that. No, thank you. All right, so we're going to get all their provinces conquered. They can go over there and go attack our fort again if they so desire. We'll attack them uh, before they're able to take it. Uh, but right now, we're going to concentrate on knocking them out so they can stop building these troops. And then we'll be able to bring our army uh, back over to there. Uh, so let's go in and get this guy going over here. And, yeah, we are just... Uh, not doing well right now in this conflict. Uh, even if we are winning the uh, casualty battle, overall, we're not we're not winning, guys. Uh, so how are we looking over here? We have 
Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, some more longbowmen. Uh, and we're broke. Oh, we don't have manpower. I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go and get us some more longbowmen. We are going to have to... We're just going to go ahead and start collecting alone now. Because you know we're going to have to, guys. Yeah, I'm not going to debase currency any further. Let's just get another loan. And I know that they do that automatically when you run out of man, run out of money. But I just don't like having no money in there. And plus, we're going to build quite a few uh, infantry here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do... Oh, let's do like two in each of these. Just trying to build up our army again. Uh, and... They're attempting to take that fort back. That's all right. Let's go ahead and take these provinces here. We are probably going to have to attack them there uh, so that they don't uh, take that fortification back. We can attack from here without getting a river penalty. Uh, but what I think we're going to do is, like, let's... Hmm. Yeah, they are getting manpower this entire time. Uh, but let's take these provinces first, get these taken over, and then we'll attack them again uh, and get that army destroyed. Hopefully, they'll probably retreat. Uh, they do have to retake that fort, so that's helpful that we got that done, that we were able to take that. Because uh, otherwise, they'd be, to be able to come over here and get Anjou, the last fortification that we have in northern France. Honestly, you wouldn't want that. Okay, there we go. Got all of these provinces. Let's go ahead and launch our attack. Uh, what happened to the rest of the army? Oh, they split up. You fucking you idiots. <laughs> they need a province to, to build in. Okay, so they finally got that fortification back. Now they're going to go proceed to uh, get all the... Get all of our provinces here. Uh, I would love to engage them, but yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. How is our allies doing? Oh, they're not liking this conflict at all. Okay, uh, what we're going to do, because we're having some issues as well, is can we reduce war exhaustion? We cannot. We need 77. So about one more month away, and then we'll be able to take care of that. Uh, let's go ahead and move our armies uh, back into northern France. We'll go into Anjou here. And I would love to be able to engage the, the enemy, but really there's no positions to be able to do that right now. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of kind of in a shitty position. I'm going to attempt to attack up here. I don't really want to fight all these countries, though, so this, that's just too many too many uh, armies right now. What we need to do is finish the battle over here uh, so that we can focus on getting uh, this army over to France and just have our entire army uh, in one location, and I think that would end up being tremendously helpful. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna siege down all these provinces here. I'm gonna try and engage. I just don't think. Yeah, yeah I just don't think it's gonna work. Damn. Hmm. All right. Well, they have to get this fort, uh, and it does have the woods. So, and I think river penalties from many uh, places of attack. So, what I think we're gonna do is just sit our unit here right now because there's no way we can engage any of these guys without the entire army coming uh, unless I was just like attack now nah, they would come eventually hmm I mean we might be able to get these battles done so quick that they're because there's so little armies that maybe we could um, yeah maybe we can get it done before the rest of the armies are able to come it's, it's a possibility oh uh, yeah they're coming anyway all right well we were, we're able to win that uh, so that's a that's a win um, I think we'll let these guys leave and then attack into there. We saved a province. Oh, damn. They're going after Anjou, guys. What do we have here? No debate in Parliament. Well, let's start a debate. Uh, let's see what we can do. We can do support the war effort. This would be super useful. Hell yeah, let's do that. I don't see why they wouldn't support it, right? Uh, let's see what we have to do to get it done, to get it through. Uh, yeah, I'll play kit to merchants. Sure. Let's do take sides in Parliament. No, I don't really want to take our prestige down if I can avoid it. Uh, government reform, I guess that's not that bad. Diplomatic power, yeah, that'll work because we, we have enough, I think. Uh, military support. I hate giving up the power, guys, on these. It just feels like it's not worth it a lot of times. I mean, we're going to have to do all this if we want to get to pass. All right, whatever. Uh, so we got one plus stability, plus we got manpower recovery speed and less monthly war exhaustion. Uh, so let's it'll start ticking it down anyways. Let's go ahead and tick down that war exhaustion. I think that will be helpful. Uh, and we're going to attempt to... Where are they going? Coming on over here. I'm going to attempt to engage somebody in a fight. Once again, a small fight that we can win. Let's attempt that attack there. Uh, should be able to defeat them. There we go. Excellent. So just get these little battles going. Uh, where you can win so quickly that the enemy can't come assist them. That's the only way we're going to be able to do it right now. Just taking a look at the manpower numbers. We are now outnumbered. Okay. Yeah, we're a bit outnumbered. Let's just take a look what's going on over here. Nothing. I'm not doing anything. So let's go ahead and attack a fort. 
try and get these guys knocked out. These ones are now knocked out. They can't build any more units. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to get Ireland done soon. Uh, we cannot help with our ships here, unfortunately. Um, that's not a possibility. Can we see Jenny, or excuse me, uh, can we come over here and not really blockade anybody? I guess we can attempt to attack them there. We'll get points for blockading. It looks like we actually are currently winning the conflict, uh, even in war score numbers. Oops, oh, whoa, wait a minute. Almost unconditionally surrendered there. That would have been super stupid. Hit the wrong button. They would not accept peace. Uh, but what if I conceded defeat? No. Okay. I won't accept that. Well, damn you. Alright, uh, so we gotta stop them from getting Anjou because that would be devastating. If they take any more of our forts, yeah, it'd be quite devastating for us. Uh, and there is a very, very large army here uh, that I don't really have any desire to fight. Uh, so we're going to attempt to avoid any fight. They are now locked in the moving, so we should be able to engage these guys here and quickly defeat them. It's 1,000 troops. Uh, it's not a big deal, but it all does help. Um, so let's go and we'll just take back our provinces slowly, I suppose. Uh, what else are you going to do? And just hope that they engage us. Oh, there's a battle down there. God damn it. Can we win it, though? I don't know. Let's move to Maine, and we will see... Oh, it doesn't look like that's going to be a victory at all. Oh, are they retreating? Well, they attack them. Hold up. Should we attack? Let's attack. We've got to. What other choice do we have? We need to help our allies, and plus, I believe... Yeah, they have the terrain and river penalty right now. Can they get there in time before the battle is over, please? Yes, they did. Excellent, and we won the battle. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we can now take this time to engage these armies where nobody can assist them, or try to anyway. We'll get over here. I don't know where they're retreating to. Uh, damn, we're not going to be able to engage anybody. <laughs> uh, can we get those guys? No, you can't get them. Can't get any of them. They're still all in shattered retreat, unfortunately. Damn. I wonder if we would be able to win here. Let's take a look. That's where we would not get river penalties. There's nowhere. Oh, well, actually, it'd be attacked from Spanish territory, but, yeah, I don't think that we want to do that. All right, uh, so that's... I would love to get these guys destroyed, but, yeah, there's 9,000 right there as well. All right, so that's not going to work. Instead, let's go ahead and start working on taking our forts back. I suppose that's the only thing we really can do at the moment. Let's work on fortifications. Uh, looks like there's going to be another battle there. Damn it. Ah, I don't think I can get... Nah, I'm not going to be able to get there in time, guys. That one's over. Spain's going to lose that one. There's no saving them. Uh, so we're about to get this fortification. Uh, we might come over here and wrap those guys up again before we continue attacking, because I am a little bit worried about them taking that. Had to take another loan, guys. Another loan. Uh, how are we doing on our troop numbers? 42 or 44. So we could get more troops. Uh, like get a few more infantry over here. Uh, mercenary infantry might want to to do that. Uh, do we need to consolidate? No, we don't need to consolidate right now. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get some more troop numbers over here. A call to arms. Oh, shit. <sighs> Portugal is now in a conflict with the Muslim countries of North Africa. So the problem with this is that... Well, one, I don't want to come... I'm, I got to assist them, but we'll accept. Uh, but the problem with this is that... Portugal is now going to be distracted, uh, obviously, with another country uh, fighting them over here. And I'm a little bit worried that they're going to pull out of our conflict, which would be bad. Because as you can see, their war exhaustion is really, really low. And their war enthusiasm, excuse me, is really low. Uh, so they're not... Yeah. All right. Hmm. The problem is that the leader of the coalition, the one who started this whole goddamn thing and attacked us... Uh, they are feeling fine. They don't, they don't really care, uh, right now about ending the, the conflict. Uh, so that has, um, resulted in us not being able to make any peace with them. That's a shame. All right, well, we'll try and get our fortifications back. Uh, but yeah, overall, it looks like we are starting to lose the conflict. We do have the Crusader bonus now because we're at war with whoever the Pope has called a crusade against, which happens to be... Morocco. Uh, so that has given us some nice little bonuses. That's really helpful. Uh, all right. So I'm glad that we did join that conflict. Uh, military access. Ah, sure. I'll give you military access, I suppose. Uh, and what is going on over here? Okay. So this is part of that conflict. 
Huh, this part of conflict we're not involved in. Okay. Yeah, we have no sides there. No friends, no enemies. It's irrelevant. Uh, so far, we're pretty looking pretty good on the forts. We're not losing either one just yet, although one did just tick a little bit. Um, we have to renew that. Uh, we're going to have to decrease our war exhaustion as well. Reduce that. That should help us a little bit. Uh, and... Yeah, we're going to have to attack over here as soon as we finish up that fortification because uh, they are ticking that down quickly. Do they have... No, they do not. I was about to say, do they have any artillery? Let's go and attack them, get them dealt with again. Uh, starting to build up the manpower now as well. Uh, we'll try and get this taken, but yeah, there are some large armies over here. Oh, they took it. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn them, man. All right. So we could try and just knock this out real quick because there's no garrison um let's let them go back home back to ireland and then we're probably just going to uh attempt to attack the fort can we can we just uh attack them here all right we need a breach first and we don't have enough artillery i suppose to get the breach all right that's unfortunate because yeah this is a there's no there's no men here uh, so we should be able to, we'd be easily be able to take the province. Uh, it looks like Richard now has loose lips. Or, or air, Richard. Okay. That sucks. It seems like, man, they have all these personalities, and it seems like you always get the same damn ones. I don't know if that's just me, guys. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I really want them to attack me, but as you guys have probably noticed here, they do everything they can to avoid attacking us. They will only, like, uh, they'll only help an attack that is already going. Man, we get one fort just to lose another. Oh, that's a damn shame. Well, we're, we're still winning. That's that's what's important. We're still winning the conflict. Um, let me just see here. Do we want... Let's move our uh, fleet, wherever they're at, uh, over here to help out with the fortification, uh, the, the sieging, sieging down of our own fort here. I almost want to just say fuck it and come conquer these guys. I just do not want to bounce all around and we can come. Yeah. Oh, we got it quickly. Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and come over here. Attack these guys. Stop them from getting their fort back. We're going to bring this over here, uh, this fleet, because we're going to be taking their uh, other fort. Uh, and yes, another battle happening over here. All right. They've taken our other fortification. Well, that is quite unfortunate. Should be able to win here. Uh, there's nobody here to stop us, nobody here to join them. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack them there. Try and get all of our provinces back. Although I think that one should flip over on its own due to the fort uh, once we've removed the troops there. All right, and then we're going to want to come on over here and uh, start grabbing these provinces back up, guys. Uh, try and tick that war score back into our favor. Uh, and what happened? What came into the... Control. Oh, they're taking there. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, we're going to come over there and attempt to defeat them in battle. All right, so yeah, we should be able to engage them. We'll destroy them, take that uh, province back so that they can't build, and then come over here and take their fort. Uh, just uh, slow going, guys. It's very slow going. Uh, let's go ahead and take, try and take Anjou back. Um, and the battle's done. Excellent. So let's go ahead and go over to their fortification there, guys. See if we can't get this done, taken care of. Um, I'm tempted to take the rest of these provinces so they can't build in them uh, while we go after their fort. Oh, shit, I never take that one. Damn it. Shit. All right, we're going to engage these guys here. Probably destroy them because they have no morale. There we go. Then come over here and engage these troops and try and take that province back. I just completely forgot about taking that. All right, so we're currently trying to get Anjou back. And... War score is definitely in our favor. Uh, it just sucks because what we need to do is we need to attack uh, these guys here. Uh, they're over here somewhere. Looks like they are right there. They have one province. If we just took that one province, I think we could probably get peace. So once we finish in Ireland, what we'll do is have one army go after that province, and then the other army can continue doing what we're doing here. And we should get ourselves a victory in the war. Uh, we might not even have to give anything up. Uh, we might even be able to get something out of this, which was not something I was expecting. Not, we're not going to take any provinces, guys. That's how we gotten ourselves into this mess in the first goddamn place. Uh, it's taking these damn provinces. Okay. Um, a lot of troops running around here right now, guys. A lot of troops. Um, and it looks like we've gained a core province, Paris. Uh, too few seats now. Uh, so we're going to have to give uh, a seat to somebody. Uh, well... Who do we want to give a seat to? I guess we could do a seat into France. 
uh, to northern France, I suppose. I guess that would make sense. Uh, just like one of these high... I'm not doing Paris. They don't get a seat. They don't get no say in anything. But, you know, Normandy, they've been part of our our empire for a very long time. Uh, so it would make sense. I'm really sick and tired of them doing these forts. Uh, so it would make sense to, to bring them into, uh, into Parliament. Uh, let me just see if there's any good provinces here. Not really. These are all pretty garbage overall. Yeah, not a lot of great provinces here where they actually get those nice bonuses from Parliament. Uh, so we have one in York already. Yeah, there's just uh, nothing compared to what we have here. So you know what? Let's give them a Parliament seat. How many do we have to give? Just one? All right, there we go. Got another Parliament seat. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and engage these guys here. They just keep building those armies up very quickly. Uh, let's go and attack here, get that province. And look at all these troops roaming around here. There's a lot of them. All right, what we need to do is just get their provinces taken care of. What I think we'll do before we take that fortification is we'll come take these ones. It's less provinces that they can build in. And we are just raking in the loans, man. We are losing so much money. Uh, how many loans do we currently have? Let's just take a look here. We currently have four loans worth almost a thousand ducats at the moment, uh, and we are losing a lot per turn. These mercenaries are expensive, guys. Very, very expensive. Uh, just take a look at where exhaustion is high. We will reduce it again. I have to keep on pumping that Diplo power into that. And we have finished this battle. Excellent news. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to get these provinces knocked out. We'll take that one. We'll take this one so they have less to build in. And maybe even completely destroy their army. That's that's what it looks like is going to happen. All right, awesome. Go ahead and get that army wrapped up. We'll take that province. And it looks like we got our fortification back. Awesome. Um, I think we're also going to go ahead and attack over here. Uh, and see what's going on over here. Uh, we'll take that province before we move on. And we're starting to build up our manpower now as well. Uh, because we're just not using as many uh, regular uh, units, regiments. Let's go and attack here. I feel that even if they brought everybody in, that we would still win. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But we're going to do this anyway. Uh, subject is tired of war. Uh, so we can send them aid, which would be a lot of money that we don't have. Uh, or let them fend for themselves. They're not worth sending aid to is the way I look at this. Uh, so yeah, we're easily gonna win that battle. Excellent. Let's go ahead and just start engaging some of these armies, these small armies, once again, to try and get some, some victories here. Uh, and we are really ticking this up. Look at this, guys. We are at 44%. Uh, we are doing very nicely. We're getting that ticking war score. Uh, they still won't make peace, though. Oh, wait a minute. They would make peace. Look at that. Awesome. We can make them concede defeat. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so we are going to go to end this. There's nothing for us to gain in this. We're just losing right now. Uh, so let's let's get it done. We have won the conflict, guys. That is excellent news. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased that we were able to get this get this uh, completed. Uh, so let's go and make peace. Uh, we're going to try and get whatever we can get with it doesn't, you know, tick up our uh, aggressive expansion. Don't need any more problems with that. So no provinces. Uh, we could have people release nations, uh, countries. I suppose that would be nice. Um, we can split up Ireland a little bit. If we wanted to, uh, they would quickly get conquered again, but it's an option. Uh, so we could do that. Kind of need the money, though, honestly. Yeah, we're kind of in a position we need whatever money we can get. Um, so I think we might do that, though. How much money could they possibly give us? Yeah, 10% of their monthly income? That's not going to be a lot of money. Uh, not much at all. All right, well, we'll do that. And then we'll also attempt to um, have them release any nations if we can. Looks like that's not gonna be possible. All right, we're just gonna take the money then. That's fine. War reparations. That's what I want, and I need money. Any money you have. It just sucks because they, this is this little tiny itty bitty country is currently the leader. So there's really just not much to get from them. Uh, so let's go to make peace. We have won the coalition conflict. Oh, the casualties were high. Just taking a look at this, we lost 169,000 men. They lost 225,000 though. So yeah, that was. That was one hell of a war, guys. We won. That was what's important. As I said, I didn't have any plans on losing. Uh, so we are still are in conflict, so we still need our troops. Uh, just taking a look at what the current conflict is right now. All right, so we need to get these countries here conquered. Uh, we got all our provinces back except for these ones, which are in 
their hands. So we're going to want to take those back. There's a massive army stomping around over here. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and attack their home provinces while they're over there playing games. Uh, but what I think we'll do before that is get rid of a couple mercenary units uh, because we are not doing well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this uh, uh, the, the mortar because that's super expensive. Uh, we'll get rid of them and select them and just disband them. And then we're going to also consolidate any regiments here and then see if, yeah, it does look like we can get rid of that one 567. So we're going to get rid of them. Uh, get rid of those guys. There we go. Just to try and decrease the amount of money we're spending because we're spending insane amounts of money right now, guys. Uh, and it's 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 bad. Um, you know what? We don't need to root out so much corruption. We can take that down a bit. Oh, we don't need to root out corruption at all. All right, well, that saves us a little bit of money, but not much. Not much at all, guys. We can also invest in a admin technology, so let's go ahead and get that, I suppose. We'll grab that up. And we have a decision available. What does this one do? Seems like nothing but good stuff to me. <laughs> Missionary strength and national tax modifier and Catholicism gains a bit of a reform desire, which I'm absolutely okay with. Uh, let's go ahead and siege down their fort. Uh, we'll take all their provinces and it won't matter what they've done over here uh, once we've taken their fortifications. Uh, there could even be, no, we would be able to see them. I was going to say one of our allies could be over there, but that's definitely not the case. Uh, we'd be able to see them. So I'm glad that we got that conflict one. Uh, we need to go ahead and pull these guys out now. Uh, let's bring them back home. And in fact, we're probably going to disband a lot of these now that I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, let's detach all mercenaries and then disband them. And then we'll bring whatever troops we have still alive back home. In fact, let's just go ahead and consolidate those regiments. All right, so that should reduce. Look at that. We're actually in the positive. That's quite surprising. All right, lovely. So we are now earning money, which is a very good thing uh, because we were we were in a bad spot, guys. Very bad spot. Uh, Lithuania has agreed to share their maps with somebody. Um, what happened over here? Oh, looks like we had a stalemate. Okay. Um, oh, never mind. It just looks like Spain has decided to wipe peace uh, out. Castile has. Okay, that's fine, because uh, they need to come back home. And it looks like uh, Portugal has also decided to leave. All right, well, you can bring your armies back. I don't care. Uh, do they outnumber us? Uh, it's going to be a close battle. Uh, how's this province looking? We'll get the woods bonus and a river bonus. So let them attack me. I don't care. Um, we no longer have the effects of Crusade. Why is that? Huh. Is the crusade not going any longer? Yeah, the crusade's not going any longer. All right, well, that's a bummer. That was a nice bonus that we were getting there. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, so let them come. Let them come attack me. I don't care. Uh, and can I not get home? All right, we're going to have to use our our ships. Do they? No, they're, they're landlocked. They don't have ships. All right, so we can't do that. Uh, we could blockade our own provinces to get a little bit, bit of a bonus here. Uh, and you know what? They should have never. They should have never joined this war. We're gonna. We're gonna dismantle them. We're gonna make them pay us money for the next ten years. Uh, screw these guys. Uh, so, so yeah, we won the coalition war. It went well, uh, and I think that this is a good place to end it. They're tempting to take our forts. We're tempting to take theirs. Uh, looks like they're actually offering peace to us, a white peace, which I am absolutely willing to accept. Uh, though, let me just take a look. It looks like their war enthusiasm is low. I almost want to say fuck it and and take something from them. Because uh, I don't think they would be willing to, like, give us war reparations, which is what I really want. Nah, you know what? Nah, screw you. You should have never declared war on me. I'm going to take your I'm gonna take your fort, and I'm going to demand war reparations. I want something. Somebody needs to pay me because I'm broke right now. And we've got loans to pay off. I've got lenders calling my cell phone every goddamn day trying to get their money. Uh, so we're going to try and take their money uh, to, to pay for this this massively, just insanely uh, expensive conflict. Uh, that's a very good place to end the episode. Uh, as far as this conflict, I don't think we're going to get involved, guys. There's no re reason to bring troops down there. Uh, I know that they helped us, us out a lot in our wars. Uh, but yeah, I just, I mean, we're not in a good position. We have no manpower. We have no money. We've got lots of loans. I think it's time to uh, have a little bit of a rebuilding stage and just kind of rebuild our, our country after that conflict. Uh, but we won. That's what's important, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I love talking to you guys, and thanks for watching.